to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, first thing we're going to do is pass out some merit badges, guys. Uh, Gavin, would you come on up here? All right, Gavin, you have earned a citizenship in community and environmental science. Good job. All right, the next uh, scout that earned a couple of merit badges that he's done just uh, actually since we were originally planning to do this in December is Andrew Nelson. Andrew Nelson has earned his first aid merit badge and his emergency preparedness merit badge, both ego required. All right, Andrew. Badges we have. Looks like uh, this scout's been busy. Thomas, would you look here? <laughs> All right, Thomas, you have earned the cookie merit badge. That's a hard one. That's also an eagle required. Uh, you have a pen? Yeah. You have a dog? Yeah. That's why you're in dog care. Good job. <laughs> and you like to play golf? Yeah. Wow. How hard was it to earn this one? No? <laughs> you just have to actually go out and play a couple games of golf? Or? Yeah. Okay. Well, good job on the golf. That's uh, excellent. I don't think anybody's earned that one yet in our troop that I can remember. That's it, Yeah, good job. Good job. All right. And then uh, that was the merit badges. The guys have a few others they're working on. A couple of them are still working on cooking and environmental science. A couple other merit badges in process and a couple we're going to get started on. Um, shortly, when we are uh, doing some meetings again, to do some uh, other ones like fingerprinting and stuff, and see what kind of mess they can make. Um, so then that takes us to rank advancement. Matt, you want to come up? Would you dad as well? Hey, Mac, this is for the Scott badge. It's the very first badge, so this is how where it all begins. You're about to pledge yourself to a way of life that's guided millions of boys before you. It is not a promise to be taken lightly. Are you ready to take this promise? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Yes. Okay, I am. I am. Okay. Please give the scout sign and repeat after me the scout oath. On my honor. On my honor, I will do my duty. I will, will do, do my, my best, best to do my duty to serve God and my country. And to, to obey the scout law. To obey the scout law and help others at all times. And to keep myself physically strong, morally awake. Okay. Mentally awake and morally straight. Okay. As a new troop. The new Scout of Troop 50, we expect you to uphold the ideals of our troop. You will be expected to live accordingly to the Scout Law and the Scout Oath you took tonight and be regular in attendance and troop activities. This badge signifies you are a member of our troop and have begun your advancement path. Good job. That's the first rank in scouting that they earn, and they move on all the way to the, on the trail to Eagle. Matt, join 
not that long ago and did a great job of, of borrowing scout books before he got his own and learning the oath and the law and everything. So congratulations to you in the Mac and, and uh, welcome to your first rank in scout. Yeah, good job, man. This is for your back to the What the boys are getting for the songs that haven't seen this before is they get a parent pin for each rank. And typically it was called mother's pin over the years, but it's a parent pin. So the parents are a big part of the support uh, in scouting and, and making sure the boys are doing what they're supposed to do and showing up. So the parents are honored by their sons by being presented with the parent pin. Yeah, this is the badge that Gavin earned. It's the Life Scout badge, the heart. Wow. Okay. Gavin, the heart has always been an emblem of courage, strength, and service to others. Indeed, it is the emblem of life itself. You are now entering the final step and rocky trail that leads to the summit, the rank of Eagle. This Life Scout heart symbolizes the strength and courage that you will need to scale the final heights as at last to join the great brotherhood of Eagle Scouts. It also reminds you to keep yourself physically strong, mentally awake, morally straight, and be service to others. Are you now prepared to meet these obligations? Mm -hmm. Okay. This court of honor finds you qualified for the rank of Life Scout. The rank of Eagle awaits you as you continue on the trail of scouting. As I present you this rank Life Scout, May the red heart of the badge be a consistent reminder of the fine things you have received from scouting and of the fine things you carry in your heart as a pledge to scouting and your fellow man. Good job, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple other things, uh, just some uh, other, not awards, but somewhat awards or recognitions. Um, Ethan. Because he brought his friend Mac into scouting, not a crossover a joining from Weeblows, like a lot of the boys do, but Mac is brand new to scouting and Ethan brought him on. Something that was supposed to take part the uh, beginning of the year, but didn't because of our last shutdown. And uh, now we're doing today is the committee met last year, last November, and uh, reorganized the leadership positions for the boys. Um, Gavin. Gavin is now uh, going to be the senior patrol leader or the senior boy in the troop. Job, yeah. um, with Michael as his assistant, and uh, Connor will be the patrol leader. And so the leadership of the troop, and Gavin will be a big part of running the troop with the, uh, in the guidance of the adults in the troop. So congratulations. The other two positions in the middle are not here, so we're going to have Andrew Nelson come up. Andrew is a, a junior scout, and he's been stepping up when he's been asked to do a lot of the to help with the younger boys with their yeah. skills and different things. Andrew is now being uh, appointed as our assistant patrol leader. Right, and it kind of wraps up the awards and presentations for the Boy Scout troop. Um, we do have two boys here from Pac 26, and Dave, who's Cub Master of Pac 26. Uh, turn it over to him to uh, take care of that stuff. Okay. So I need Brody and uh, and Trevor up here, and one here and two here. And Pam. Okay. 
That's true. That means, huh? um, these guys have really earned this. Um, as some of the guys that, that have um, moved up from Pac-26 last year, now part of Troop 50, these guys have worked their tails off um, this year and have been the only active members of Pac-26 right now trying to get things done and get them up to um, their rank with their parents' help um, getting them there. And I'm very proud of them and what they've accomplished. Um, so tonight we assemble to honor these people of scouts who have earned the Arrow of Light rank, first of all. Um, the Arrow of Light is the highest rank of Cup Scouts in which all these scouts have brought um, honor to Pac-26 and their parents. They have climbed the Cub Scout Trail to reach some, something only attainable through hard work um, and sacrifice. Den leaders, um, Pam, are these scouts ready to go on to become uh, um, on to a bigger adventure in the Great Brotherhood of Scouts? Pam, yeah. Their of Light patch is important. It is the only patch that you use from Cub Scouts that you can wear on your scout uniforms. Um, Trevor and Brody, the Air of Light patch symbolizes all the skill and knowledge you have earned, the work you have done to help others, and the fun memories you have of Cub Scouting. Um, Um, Pam's going to pin the arrow light patch on your on your uniform. It gets pinned on upside down as a tradition in our pack. You get to do your first deed, as you guys know, good deed, and get it turned over right side up. You might have already accomplished that. This was turned a while ago by you guys, so you will, you will get that um, pretty quickly, I'm sure. This one can stay on your uniform and in sky. Go below your um, below your rank advancement on your right pocket. Um, it, it stays there permanently. You can keep it on. This is the only rank you can carry over. So wear it with pride. You guys have earned it. Plus, these guys have also earned all their pins. Twenty-seven. Yeah, all their pins for um, the ribbons for um, the blows that you can earn. All the all the um, adventures that you can earn. But that's a hard thing to accomplish. Um, these guys have done that. So I will award them with. Those as well. Yeah, that's it is, it is an accomplishment for that. This you cannot wear on your uniform. This you cannot wear on your uniform. Um, but you can wear it on there. But that is the 27 that they get for wearing for wearing all 27 rank advancements that they get for the pocket sleeve. Unfortunately, this one you cannot wear on your uniforms. Um, they also, these guys, like I said, the only active members of the pack, earned their popcorn sales for this year, so they get a popcorn sales patch for that. And they got their online sales, too. They did over yes. the dollar online. Yes, these guys were... Okay. Um, yeah, let's take your house. Well, you know, you can and say it's in there, so they have to lose it. Okay. I'm not even going to try reading off the pins you guys have earned um, because they are numerous and everything else. But they have earned everything for their rank advancements um, and all their the remaining um, activity pins that they didn't, or adventure pins that they did earned as Weeblos. Um, they are numerous, so I'm just going to hand the bags off to you guys. And within within the bags are your um, 50s, for, for your 50s that you might bring over, and your new epaulets. Um, for your uniforms as well. Um, if you're going to retire the blue ones, we'll retire the blue ones tonight and put those ones on here as you cross over. Um, what else? I think that's the majority of everything. Yeah. So, Trevor, yours. Thank you. Congratulations. guys, I don't want you stabbing your parents. Um, <laughs> the parent pins, um, <laughs> he dropped it. it wasn't meant to okay. Now, no scout can do the, um, earn their rank, as I said, without their den leaders, adults, and other scouts and parents. 
Your parents brought you to den meetings, brought you to pack meetings, brought you to Pam's house to get your requirements done, right? So you owe them a great deal of gratitude for that. And with that, we're going to show that gratitude by introducing them with their parent pin. It looks just like your pin. They can wear it with pride, as you guys do. So you can go ahead and pin that on them. So, as a PAC 26 tradition, um, the Arrow of Light earn a, a plaque that um, is, is the Arrow of Light crossing over a bridge of with the Arrow. Um, this is not just a name and rank and year. Um, they already have those. We printed, we got those made um, early on in September, October. Um, they have those already hanging in their rooms. So, for them, congratulations. This is yours. because they're crossing over and because they have done so much and earned everything else, we're, the PAC is awarding them, um, the PAC committee has decided to award them with a $250 gift card for REI oh, that wow. they can take Wait. towards um, um, their PAC for the truth um, and other things for Scott. So congratulations. I'll give you a list, <laughs> Give my list too. <laughs> Go back to that. <laughs> I, I cannot go without this one. This is a personal one for me. Um, like I said, this this pack has been a challenge um, and a, a benefit as well. Having these two moms um, and Brian two over the years. Um, helping out has been tremendous. Um, I can't say enough of how much you guys have contributed and helped out and done everything. We might be seeing the end of Pack 26. It's unknown how it's going to continue on and work out. Um, hopefully, as COVID um, gets better, the Pack re rebuilds um, and stuff right now. But these two have helped keep what's lingering left um, running, and I appreciate that. And so, for Pam, who's been our den leader, I have this little um, uh, pin that's Cub Scouting. It's a dog tag, sort of, um, that I want to present her with for that and a gift oh, oh, card. Um, Pam, or uh, Kim as well. Extra gum for being an extra <laughs> help. <laughs> um, and everything else. And also, so you can take it. Thank you. Can sit down. These two are now mine. Hand over to them. Yeah, this is the moment. We're all done. Okay. Why not? As we said tonight, we honor some of these people who earned the airplane. Um, the troop is assembled over there. They are waiting to receive you with open arms. Stand up for your camera. This concludes your time as a Cub Scout with Pack 26, but begins your journey into Scouts BSA. You may now cross the bridge to join your troop after I remove your scarf.
now joined Troop 50 is a great tradition of almost 70 years that this troop has been chartered here in the city of Victorville or the Victor Valley. Um, Trevor was uh, welcomed in by his brother Thomas. So we have now siblings again in the troop, which we have over many years, like my two boys have been in the troop. Dan and I have been here for 17 and 19 years helping out. Uh, my son in the back, Christian, was a member of the troop, and now his son, Andrew, is a member of the troop. So we're looking forward to a lot of great outings and, and a lot of fun with these boys, and congratulations on everything you earned as a, as a Cub Scout, and welcome again to Troop 50. Yeah, that kind of concludes everything we're going to do except our, uh, our closing ceremonies. Um, so you can stay here for that. And then we have the refreshments for those that they want that. So uh, Andrew and Gavin.